Hey, you know what I'm really getting fucking tired of? Is the funniest fucking thing ever to me. And I'm not going to name any names. I love when celebrities tell me who to vote for. <laughs> That's the stupidest fucking thing ever. Uh, you know, I don't know if I should vote for Trump. Or for, for Hillary. I can't make up my mind. Oh, wait a minute. It's the guy from the Dog Whisperer. Maybe he should tell me. Oh, yeah. Who should I elect for leader of the free world? I'll tell you what is fucking hilarious to me. It's not really hilarious. But I actually, I think I was, I just met somebody when I was down in the, uh, I took a steam, right? And then I went into the pool and I was shooting the shit with this guy. And I'm telling you. I think Trump could win. I never thought, I was just saying, I go, this is going to be a fucking landslide. No one's going to vote for this fucking dope, right? And I'm running to this guy, just go, and he's just sitting there going, hey, I can't fucking, he's going, I can't vote for Hillary. She's a fucking criminal. I'm going, yeah, but this other guy, this guy's a dope. Because I agree with you that Hillary's a fucking idiot. No, I mean, a criminal, but this guy's like a fucking dope. And he's going, yeah, you know, but I, I think he just needs to shut up. And I think he can get stuff done and, this is this is the thing. The human being in me, all right? The fucking, I don't want to see Trump win, okay? But I got to tell you something. Just living in Hollywood, how fucking terrified they are that he's going to win, it's worth it. I just want to watch everybody just fucking freaking out. It's going to be the, like, for personal, own selfish reasons, if Trump gets elected, like, there's no place in the world you're going to want to be the next day. Then in right in Hollywood in L.A. and just listen, <laughs> listen to them fucking losing their mind. They literally think that that guy is going to take the entire country down like it's possible for either Hillary or Trump to do it. You can't do it. Fortunately, the way our whole thing's set up, like, you know, if you get a couple of things done, I guess as president, it's a great thing. But um, if he had to bet right now. Like, this would be such a, like, if this was a Super Bowl, um, this is the hardest fucking, how do you handicap this one? They're so fucking polarizing, right? You got Hillary Clinton, right? Like, like I, I really feel like people in this country are, are like, maybe like, I don't know, Clintons and Bushes. I'm just sick of them. I'm fucking sick of them, right? But I think there's enough people that fucking hate Hillary because they hate Bill Clinton. And then you got to also sexist people who just won't uh, vote for a woman. And then you got women who will vote for her just because she's a woman. So maybe they'll cancel each other out. And then you got Trump who, you know, I want to say is a fucking dope. But I mean, the guy is a fucking billionaire, right? Is he, though? I don't know if he is. Who the fuck? He says he is. I have no fucking idea. Granted, he did inherit the money, but he also didn't fuck it up. But he did go bankrupt. I can't figure this fucking guy out. I just can't believe these are my two choices. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. These, this is, this is all time fucking worst, worst fucking election ever. How the fuck did we end up with these, these two fucking people? You know what? Maybe I will listen to the dog whisperer guy. Maybe, maybe they can help me out. I don't know what to do. I don't I have no fucking idea what to do. There's no fucking way I'm voting for Trump, but I'm not voting for somebody with 15 felony counts either. Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what's hilarious over here is fucking people like. Ah, uh, people are freaking out about Trump over here. They're like, dude, you can't fucking elect that. You cannot have that guy be the leader of the free world. And I'm like, and then what? We're supposed to have the convicted felon? I don't... Uh, it's a fucking shit show, people. So anyways, I don't know. What the fuck do I want? You know what's fucking hilarious about me talking about all of this shit? I have not watched one fucking... I watched the first Republican debate back when Trump was funny. When you're just like, isn't this hilarious that this, this guy's running for president? This is funny. It's like if you, you, your fucking buddy's like, yeah, I'll run for mayor. And all of a sudden you see him on TV and you're just laughing, watching him sounding like a fucking idiot, you know? And then, then it's over. And then you go back to the real world. That back when he, That's when I watched. And then he kept winning and that was just, it just stopped being funny to me. So 
<laughs> I stopped watching, and I cannot listen to Hillary's fucking voice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, oh. It's, 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 it's a, sh- I don't know. I have no fucking idea. You know what's funny is they give a shit more over here about the election than we do. You know? Do you know, like, when those fucking banker cunts, um, those banker cunts fucking, uh, in America, when they totally cook the fucking economy, like that, because everybody's like all tied in with each other. Like that really affected the economy over here in Ireland. I had no fucking idea. I had no idea that that happened. And like people over here got so despondent that the suicide rate went up and everything like that. And it just kills me because, you know, those bankers don't give a fuck. They still sleep at night, sleep soundly. That, I'm telling you, that is that is the candidate that I'm waiting for. Not the one that is going to say, hey, you know, we need to fucking... We need all kinds of reform and regulations and banking. I, I don't want to hear that guy. We're, we're beyond that. I want, I want the guy that's going to be like, look, we need to kill a bunch of bankers. Fucking start all over again. That's, that's my guy. Right? I don't know what I'm talking about.